Hey guys, Bark of the Dog Trainer here. Today we're gonna to be doing a quick video on the best crate for a Labradoodle. Now, when it comes to picking out an appropriate crate, we have to be thinking about a couple different variables. You know, do we know anything about the breeding or bloodline? You know, any idea of how big mom and dad were? Are we planning on getting a male or a female? Because all of these different things are gonna give us a pretty good idea of how big we can expect our Labradoodle to get. Now, most of the Labradoodles I've worked with in my career tend to be on the bigger end of things. So the two models I am typically going to be recommending to my clients are going to be the Petmate Sky Kennel 48 inch and the Petmate Sky Kennel 40 inch. Now, I'm going to put the links in the video description to these two models. But now, even though I typically am going to be recommending these, I do think there's a time and a place for a wire crate. Um, I really only use wire crates when I'm traveling uh, just because they fold up into a smaller space. And a lot of times that can be convenient if we're loading up a few crates into our car and we want to make sure we've got room for other things. Um, so, so I have another video that goes into a little more depth on the pros and cons of plastic versus wire. Um, but like I said, definitely can't deny that there are some advantages to a wire crate. So what I'm going to do is lower down in the video description, I'm going to put kind of an alternative recommendation, which is going to be the equivalent size eye crates of the two Petmate models that I'm talking about. So that way, if for whatever reason, you're just more of a wire crate kind of person, or you think that that fits your needs a little bit better, um, I'll make sure that I've got you covered either way. But because I really truly recommend these Petmate Sky Kennels, that's what we're going to be talking about the bulk of this video. Now, the two different models that we were talking about are the 48 inch, which means it is 48 inches long. Okay, and that's in a really important dimension to understand because that really tells us based on how long our dog is, are they going to fit in here without, you know, bending their paws or needing to contort in, in order to fit. Okay, so let's say that the first variable to picking out an appropriate crate is going to be the length and height of our dog. Now, the second thing we want to be thinking about is the manufacturer's recommendations, which um, if you check out the links that I have posted, they'll have everything that the manufacturer talks about with picking out a crate. But, um, but for right now, we'll, we'll just talk about the weight requirements. So the 48 inch is going to be for dogs maybe 90 to 125 pounds. And the 40 inch is going to be more for a dog 70 to 90 pounds. Okay, so again, main things you're thinking about is the length from front to back and the weight requirement. Now, why don't we take a closer look at both of these models in particular so I can walk you guys through everything you need to know. Okay, so both of these models are pretty much exactly the same outside of the size, but we should talk about some slight differences that may push you more towards one or the other. Okay, so both of these models have got this kind of upgraded lock. I refer to it as a dual lock. I don't really know what it's called, but we have to press this lock in order to unlock this one. Okay, and what that does is it makes it a lot more difficult for a dog to break it or open it from the inside. Okay, now the other thing that it does is that this type of lock is actually going to send uh, like a securing pole into four different locations, where a lot of the other plastic crates that I've seen and even smaller models of the Sky Kennels, they only secure in two locations, making it way easier to break out of. Okay. Now, if we're talking about just a regular old dog that isn't trying to break out or anything like that, this will probably work fine. Okay. Now, when it comes to like true separation anxiety or something like that, this model is going to be better than a lot of the other plastic crates that I've seen, and it's going to be better than the smaller models of the Sky Kennel. But I'm not going to say it's escape proof. I've definitely seen dogs with separation anxiety break out of this one too. So anytime that I'm nervous about a dog breaking out of a crate or they've got a little bit of a history of breaking out of crates, I'm typically going to recommend the 48 inch model where even though it's not marketed as escape proof, I've never seen a dog break out of it. And I've worked with a lot of separation anxiety situations. So I think it's a combination of that really secure door and lock like this one, 
And it also has some of the thickest plastic I've ever seen on a crate. So I think that's why I've never seen a dog successfully break out of it. Now, again, not necessarily marketed as escape proof, but if you're looking at like true escape proof crates, they are easily in the thousand dollar range. So if you're looking for one last like plastic type of option before you start dishing out the big bucks, this is probably going to be your best bet. So even if our dog's a little bit small, if they've got a history of breaking out of crates, I'd probably just upgrade to the big one. Okay, now why don't we take apart one of these crates so I can kind of show you what it looks like to uh, put these things back together and then we'll probably wrap up from there. Both of these crates are basically three main pieces. We've got a door, the top piece and the bottom piece and we basically just bolt them together. Okay. Now, a lot of times when I'm storing these crates or traveling with them, I just put the top piece in the bottom and the door in there because it just takes up less space. And if I'm bringing a few of these crates, I just kind of stack them inside of each other. But now when it comes to putting them together, it is really not difficult. We're just going to put the top piece on the bottom and we just have to make sure that all the holes are lined up properly. Okay, and then the door, we can actually decide which way we want the door to open, uh, which is actually really, really nice, depending on what your house is set up like. Okay, but we just have to make that choice before we start putting everything together. So we're just gonna do it this way. And on a side note, while we're talking about the door, I should talk about one of my favorite things about these crates is that we can buy replacement doors or these metal side vents. We can buy replacements for them. So that way, let's say seven, eight, nine years down the road, the plastic looks totally fine, but our metal's getting a little rusty from when we're cleaning it and stuff like that. We can actually just buy a replacement, uh, like replacement door, or replacement vent. And that can be a really inexpensive way to add to the lifespan of these crates. Because obviously that's a lot cheaper than buying multiple new crates just because the door is a little rusty. Um, but that was just a side note that I figured I'd bring up. Now, as far as putting this together with the bolts, really, really easy. Okay, so you don't need a wrench or anything like that. We just kind of go around the edge here and we're just gonna screw these on. Now, when it comes to just a regular dog, I'm usually only going to put maybe five or six in around, around the perimeter here. Um, but we can put up to 11 bolts to hold the crate together. Okay, so if I were working with the dog that I was really afraid of them escaping the crate, then I'm probably going to put all 11 in. Now, as far as the 48 inch model goes, we can actually put 17 bolts around the perimeter to hold it together. So, um, so again, I only usually use four or five uh, for my dogs because they're not trying to get out of there. But when I was working with dogs that were actively trying to get out, I put all 17 in. Okay, now outside of that, I think that's pretty much everything you guys need to know about these Petmate Sky Kennels. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.